If there was a test that existed in this world where its sole intention is to learn your worst fear and turn it against you, would you dare take it? I feel like anyone with common sense would steer far away from such a thing so clearly designed to instill terror and leave us trembling with our darkest fears that hide within. Well, ladies and gentlemen, good thing we don't have much common sense because I have seen a couple comments floating around here and there asking me to check out this fear assessment. Now, from what I know, the fear assessment is pretty much how it sounds. It is a test you take that quizzes you on your worst fears, and then I imagine later is going to try and exploit what it learned about you. This video is certainly going to look a little different, as very soon I will be taking you on a live journey throughout what will hopefully not be a too frightful experience, but you never know. But before I let you get too far, I just wanted to say that if you enjoy what you're watching and want to help support the channel, go on and hit all those neat buttons down below, including the subscribe and bell notification so that you can be a part of every new upload. I will have the social links in the description below for the Instagram and Letterboxd, so be sure to check those out too. Alright, now you can pass through. At first glance, this game came along with a set of rules. Rule 1, leave all doors in sight wide open. Rule 2, make sure you are alone. Rule 3, turn off all the lights. Rule 4, follow all instructions. Rule 5, stay focused on the test. And Rule 6, ignore all auditory and visual hallucinations. This is certainly going to be something I am not looking forward to playing. Before we jump into the gameplay, I just wanted to warn you guys, since this was my first time using OBS, I hadn't really messed with the audio leveling, so please bear with that and join me on this adventure because I'm going to need some mental hand-holding throughout. Alright, we're here with the game open, and I just want to preface that I normally am able to handle, I can handle my horror movies, my horror videos very well. It takes a lot for that to like really freak me out. Uh, it does not take much for a horror game to freak me out. A lot. Like, it's actually difficult for me to play them and get through them. So, this is gonna be very different, and I'm nervous. I really don't know what to expect, and I gotta be honest, this menu screen isn't assuring me that I will be coming out of this the same person that I am going in. Right off the bat, we are being warned, says that this test contains materials that may be harmful or traumatizing to some audiences. It also may include visual effects that may harm the viewer. Please proceed with caution. Proceed is spelled wrong. But I feel like I'm going to be one of these traumatized folks. But let's just go. No dogs were harmed, thank you, that's good. This test is not a virus. No people were harmed, I'm about to be harmed. Your information is not going to be used for legal purposes. Wear headphones, got them on. Keep your eyes on the screen. They are, fortunately, on the screen. Fear assessment program is a specialized test developed and implemented by government agencies to collect data on psychological torture techniques. If you see a face on the right, then you're experiencing psychosis and must end the test immediately and seek help from a doctor. I do see a face on the right. I, okay, goodbye. Thanks. Go away now. God fucking damn it. How the fuck am I gonna play this? <laughs> Level one. Level zero. Sensory. Press space if an audio plays or an image flash on the screen. Okay. That was an audio and an image. Fuck, I'm really messing this up. That wasn't fun. Stop showing that. Okay. We will begin the next level in 10 seconds. Okay. Has it been 10 seconds yet? I'm ready. Let's get this over with. Click on the faces. Okay. There's a face. Found it. Found it. Oh, that's kind of a face. There's the face. Hello. Uh, hey, there's a face. That's a face right in the, right in the center. Yep, that's the face. 
Yeah, there's a there's a face. That's the same image. Thanks. There's the face. There's the face. I can't. Like this is so bad. There's the face. Get these. Get. I'm done. Face. <laughs> that. Yeah. There's the face right in the center. Thank you. Making it very easy. Found the face. They. Oh, level one complete. Sweet. I thought this was gonna be more like what image is scarier? Pick. And it would be something like simple, like I don't know, fear of bugs. Like, what's a scarier bug? This isn't that. This is a lot worse. <laughs> this is more than that. Question and answer. Okay. Hopefully this isn't... Do you feel like you are being watched right now? Yeah, I do. Kind of. Yeah. Or do you ever feel like you're being watched? Yeah, sure. Have you ever heard a voice call your name but no one was there? I have had that happen. It was really scary once. It was in the middle of the night. Pay attention. Oh, I don't think I'm going to let... Let us into your mind. I am purposefully. Okay. <laughs> so bad. Hey, if a figure was to appear, fuck, in the corner of your room, you would honestly, I would probably just cry. I would just cry. That would be that. Have you ever thought about being tortured to death? No, I have never thought about that. Are you distracted and not paying attention to your surroundings? Uh, no, I'm actually looking around quite frequently. Do you have loved ones? I do. Yes, I, I have loved ones. I, I, uh, do you care for animals? Yes, I do care for animals. That was level two. Okay. All right, what's next? Oh my god. This is the like... I'm ready for this to be over. I'm very ready. Which one? I think this is the one I was thinking of. Uh, uh I like the dog. I prefer the dog. Okay. I'm gonna press space right away. Little frequencies, nothing too bad. I picked the dog. This is what I get. Mm -mm. This isn't. This isn't it. And I feel like pressing space is a. Okay, we're done with level four. How many levels are there? Okay, fucking hell. I need like, uh, sweaty. This sucks. I'm, I hate this. Uh, level five. Thanks. I'm not trying to just look, stare into the eye. I'll click it if you want me to do that, but. Uh-oh. Okay, what's going on now? Hey. Hey, faces. I don't know you. Thank you for this. Oh, is that it? Are we done? Is there anything else? Test begins now. I suffer. I I don't know what we're gonna. Yeah, I hear all that whispering you're doing. I'm gonna keep talking and block it out because I am strong-minded. I will. I will keep it. Okay. What is this? 
you have taken over my computer screen. You're showing. All right, we're done. I think I'm I'm finished. Have fun looking at all my desktop stuff. I'm closing out of the game. I think. Okay. Okay. I hope that's it. All right, so that was the fear assessment created by Alexander Wiseman. That was certainly a horror experience. I feel like that has taken everything that I've seen through like analog horror and really put me to the test and threw me into that and wasn't expecting it. What I was remembering was this test that really was more asking you what image makes you feel more nervous and it could be like a picture of a spider versus a picture of like a snake and you have to pick. And that was not this. I was wrong. This certainly uh, caught me by surprise with the fact that it was more haunting faces and listening to horrifying audio and I was <laughs> basically I wasn't ready for that so that was something if you enjoyed this style of video just let me know and I'll try to see what else we can do like this it was fun even though it was terrifying and I feel like my lifespan is a bit shortened so we'll have to see but other than that, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a like and a subscribe. And let us know if you like anything more like this. And because sure, I'll pull something up that'll haunt me forever. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.